Today we are looking at some amazing updates about Epic Universe opening next year at Universal Orlando Resort. Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Scott and you're watching Exploring Attractions. And like I said today, we're taking a look at all the exciting progress based on the brand new theme park in Orlando Epic Universe. Shout out to Bio Reconstruct as always for posting these amazing aerial photos on X. Make sure to give them a follow to get the photos firsthand and live. But why don't we start off with something different compared to what we start off with and talk about the in-park hotel, the massive in-park hotel, where you can kind of get a great idea of how tall this actual hotel is going to be from ground level. Like I said, this will be the in-park hotel and we'll have the aerial view of the entire theme park. It's going to look absolutely incredible, especially if you're staying on one of the suites on the very top floor. Work continues to be underway as they're starting to get the rest of the detail ready for this hotel to be complete. But you can see some paint has definitely been added to the rest of this building, as well as that top dome kind of area. That top dome has still have work going on with it. There's a wood surrounding it. And looks like they're still in the early phases, if you will, of uh, it being complete. And this big top area will actually be a lounge at the very top part of the hotel. So not only will you get a view from the different rooms of Epic Universe, you'll also be able to go to the very top where there's an actual lounge and you'll be able to overlook the entire theme park. I'm sure reservations are going to be so hard to get into that lounge, but nonetheless, it's going to look absolutely incredible once complete. And you can see the rest of the kind of main hub area towards the left-hand side or in front of this Helios Grand Hotel is working its way to being complete as well. The big Bellagio style fountains in the middle of the park are looking great. Looks like some more rock work is going into that. Just around the seating area and everything of what will be a show where these Bellagio style fountains are at. But not only that, just like a nice little seating area to take a break from all the theme park fun. As well as the restaurant to the left hand side of this hotel, we did get a piece of concept art based on what this restaurant will look like. And let me tell you, this is probably my most anticipated restaurant just from seeing the concept art, which will be a part of the Celestial Park area of Epic Universe. We move on over, of course, to another hub attraction, which is Starfall Racers, the dual racing roller coaster. Still lots of work to go in with all the rock work on those kind of bank turns area. And a it looks like they haven't really touched that uh, theming element as well of where that banked area is at. It looks like their focus right now is getting the station ready to go. Because remember, the actual attraction is done. The coaster layout and everything is 100% complete. And they just need to continue with their test runs and everything to get it ready for the opening next year. However, it looks like they are still working on the station. Lots of work still needs to go into that station as well as the uh, kind of attraction entrance where that big archway is at. That still has yet to receive detail as well. There's lots of landscaping around the entryway of the actual coaster and I'm sure we'll start to see a gate start to pop up kind of separating the backstage area from the actual public area or maybe even they'll get ready for an extended queue because the actual load station doesn't look like it has a very large queue at least to hold tons and tons of people who want to ride starfall racers so i'm sure they'll start to put up an extended queue as well somewhere around this station but then again it's so hard to judge kind of size by everything because we don't know maybe they do have room to fit an hour and a half long wait which i think will be way longer when this attraction opens with the theme park but we're only seeing it from the aerial side of things so we can't really tell whether or not how big in scale stuff is. Nonetheless though, lots of work going into Starfall Racers and there's lots of test runs going on as well. Plenty of people have captured tons and tons of test run footage of this attraction and honestly, it definitely hauls. Well, you guys can predict the rest. Starfall Racers will be the dual racing roller coaster, a part of Celestial Park as well. But let's move into some of the more themed lands. And one themed land in specific, we've actually gotten the absolute most sneak peeks of, which is the How to Train Your Dragon land. And the big reason I say that is because, of course, Universal Orlando released tons of different concept art and a fly through of this land. But also on the Universal Creative Instagram page, they were posting kind of like a teaser of kind of their staff who are bringing this land to life, walking around inside the actual land. But it was incredible. I mean, they even gave us a sneak peek inside of the actual theater, which will host 
the Untrainable Dragon Show, the Broadway-esque show that will take place in that theater. It's very exciting, and honestly, it made me excited just to see people walking around the Isle of Burke area. The Isle of Burke portal definitely has some more progress that needs to be done with it. Tons of rock work needs to go on with it. However, the actual statues of Burke and the different bridges and stuff like that look to be nearing completion as far as that front kind of entry portal transformation into Isle of Burke. And you do get kind of like a backside look at the entryway, the entry portal of what it will look like from the inside to the rest of Epic Universe into Celestial Park of that entry portal for the How to Train Your Dragon Land. Some more theming as well as different sheep have been placed all over the place. There's tons of landscaping underneath the coaster, tons of different uh, bushes and plants that will sprout up over time that'll make it look absolutely incredible once all complete. And yeah, really, they're just putting a whole ton of like different uh, theming elements around this land as they get it prepared to open next year. I feel like that's really what their main focus is for the How to Train Your Dragon Land in specific, while the rest of the foundation and rock work and layout of everything else is practically complete. Also, I don't want to kind of judge too early, but there does seem to be a part where there's kind of like a, a photo opportunity on a Viking ship right where those statues of Burke's at. I mean, I don't know if there's going to be a gate there uh, or, or not, but is that like a, a little photo opportunity that you'll have? If so, that'll be pretty neat. When you look at the entire land in general, though, it looks incredible. It looks almost done. There's so much elements and stuff still going into the coaster as well as different show scenes. The actual Great Hall restaurant or a Mead Hall, I should say, uh, sticks out. And you can tell just how tall that is compared to everything else in the land. I can't wait to eat at Mead Hall. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of different food options, plenty of different drink options, and you can definitely spend a lot of money there. But regardless though, it goes back into the park. So you know what, Universal Orlando, take my money. And we move over to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, Ministry of Magic, where they are definitely preparing a whole lot of work for the entry portal for that as well. There's a lot of like uh, different detail in the cement work, if you will, uh, right outside of the actual entry portal. This entry portal is definitely going to be the largest out of any of the entry portals at Epic Universe. I mean, it looks amazing, right? Uh, and the fact that they're already doing detail in the cement and everything looks awesome. The rest of the Wizarding World area is starting to have different features and stuff like that added to the surrounding city buildings as well as this brand new frame added uh, in the kind of middle section of the different areas of Wizarding World. It's odd on why they have that, but maybe it's just to provide shade. I mean, they have obviously that big shade overhang in Diagon Alley over at Universal Studios Florida. So I'm happy that it looks like they're actually putting shade in this land as well. That'll be a big thing that I hope Universal is prepared for, which I'm sure they are because they know where they live. They know where they're building this theme park at in sunny and hot Florida. So I hope they have plenty of shade ready for guests when it opens up next year. But yeah, the actual like it looks like like a you're walking down the streets uh, of the wizarding world in this land i mean even just from the aerial view you can see they are making it to where you're walking down a street and then of course surrounding you is all those buildings so uh, this is definitely going to be one of those lands that impresses everybody uh, and, and like i've always been skeptical about the wizarding world land at epic universe from the very beginning just because i was like do we really need another Wizarding World land? And honestly, now I, I am proven wrong, and I hope to be proven wrong even more when I actually experience it in person, because this entire land makes me super excited. Yeah, look at all the landscaping and everything going on with the actual, like, entry portal of the Wizarding World. All the trees and everything kind of immersing you into that entire world. And the craziest thing about this is we don't even know what's inside, other than the attraction, of course, but... As far as like the detail and the level of theming on the actual attraction building interior wise, I mean, I'm sure it, it looks amazing. It's going to blow everybody out of the water. And we're not going to go over Super Nintendo World today because Super Nintendo World is just moving along very, very fast. There's not a whole lot of changes with it per to say, so I'm not really going to talk about it. Instead, I want to talk about the most anticipated land for me which is the Dark Universe area, the Universal Monsters themed area. As reported before, multiple trains are on the track for the Spinning Wolfman coaster, and it looks like they're still
still kind of building that steel structure or steel frame for the kind of ending scene as people make their way into the station back from their amazing ride on the Wolfman coaster. The quick service restaurant, the windmill restaurant as we've all been calling it since we don't have an official name quite yet. Universal Orlando themselves have not re released an official name. There have been different rumors and stuff like that which we're not going to talk about until Universal confirms it themselves. However, the windmill definitely looks incredible. It looks terrifying if you will and it looks like straight out of the original Frankenstein movies which man this makes me so excited just because I'm already excited for Universal Monsters alone but just seeing this windmill themed restaurant is is amazing and you can see it's kind of like an odd shaped building but honestly like it works right and, and the reason why I feel like it is a restaurant is because you can tell they have like that seating area kind of getting prepared outside where there's an overhang at and kind of like a, a shaded area to eat your food your your Frankenstein themed burger there's lots of like paving going on throughout the land like it looks like it'd be ready to walk around in today obviously everything else is not done around it but as far as like the pavement and everything goes like everything looks pretty level and that's what I feel like makes me the most excited for Epic Universe is you can really start to see some of the guest accessible areas rather than just dirt all over the place. The village though is definitely uh, probably the coolest thing in Epic Universe. I mean you literally feel like you're in the village of these different uh, legendary Universal Classic Monsters movies. They're all of course black and gray fitting with the old movies and you can see just how many little areas you're going to be able to walk inside whether it be themed gift shops, small little quick service areas, uh, themed bathrooms and stuff like that and then you also get a kind of good idea of exactly where the transformation portal will be as well. Right in the center of the village is of course it, what looks to be a wishing well. Obviously this looks like kind of like a fountain base but it also looks like a wishing well so once they start to add more detail to that then we'll really be able to tell whether it's a wishing well or just a standard fountain. Regardless though I like how they're adding something like that to the middle of this village even though you wouldn't think of something like that to be added to a monsters themed area they're doing it and honestly when you walk into this village it looks pretty small and everything but I think one thing that people will forget is the fact of there's so much more to discover between the giant attraction and then you have the coaster and then if you walk even further back you have that windmill uh, kind of restaurant so much to discover in the land and the first impression is already amazing of course plenty of more different little kiosks are popping up uh, some kiosk obviously could relate to the queue of this coaster or maybe even like ride photos and stuff like that. They're all just popping up all over the place. And the actual facade for the main attraction is still undergoing tons and tons of detail. Obviously they still have all the scaffolding up. They haven't removed it quite yet and they still need to add even more detail to the top parts where they're still remaining steel uh, waiting to receive even more detail to bring this whole Frankenstein castle to life. Regardless though, the dark universe area looks amazing as the rest of these lands but we want to know down below in the comment section what you're most excited for about epic universe but that's going to wrap it up for today's epic universe if you guys are new here please hit that subscribe button down below with those bell notifications on and leave this video a like if you did enjoy it we really appreciate the support a whole lot and we want to know what you guys are most excited for down below in the comment section but as always my name is scott you've been watching exploring attractions positivity is key and most importantly, remember to keep exploring. Peace out, everybody.